So these are the chickens, which we're rearing for meat birds. They live outside in this enclosure and they have this hen house at night. Um, and they've got plenty of room as you can see and they're growing up eating and playing and doing all the things that baby chickens do when they've got the freedom and the space to do that. I to throw away bits of tree for them. Um, obviously you have to monitor what they're eating quite carefully so that they're not having anything that they shouldn't have. It might cause us any harm if we eat them. But these birds are uh, eight weeks old now, nine weeks old. So they're growing fast. And um, it shocks me when you see birds in the supermarket that are 12 weeks old. I just want to give you some idea what size these are. Come on. And they're the size of my hand. So when you buy a chicken from the supermarket, all right, chick chick. Um, and they are you know, plucked and prepared when they're 12 weeks old. It makes you wonder what they've been eating um, to put weight on them so fast and quickly. These chickens have ad lib feed, uh, which is uh, non medicated. Um, you can hear my hens in the background. These are my chicken hens. So they have a big enclosure as well, and they have a big barn in there that they go in as and when they want to and they sleep in the barn um, but they're very chatty in the mornings I'm doing really well but yeah there we have them the meat hens and the bird and the chicken <laughs> the egg hens um, these are a mixture of boys and girls they grow the cocks tend to grow faster um, I'm not very good at sexing them so I can't tell you which is which but it won't be long before they start sparring up and then you can tell um, but until they're older and sexually mature you wouldn't tell the difference for the meat anyway so you can see that they enjoy scratching around and foraging for things that they like and uh, yeah just having a good life really enjoy What is it, girls? Mm, what is it? Do you have eggs for me today? Hey, okay, we'll go find them. So I've come into the barn and they've followed me, obviously. Um, this is their barn, it's quite large. They roost at night on that bar there. Uh, they climb up the ladder. They have uh, the best of everything here. They've got a little bird table and they have a uh, grandpa's feeder. So when they tr tread on the treadle, the um, flap flips up and they can eat. But at the moment it's in training mode. They've got a, a swimming pool there, paddling pool with sand in. So they can bath themselves in the sand. And this is where they lay their eggs. So they jump up here or they jump up onto the... Um, branch and then they climb along and find oh there she's laying and they find a little house that they might want to lay in so I can see an egg in there she's laying there's probably an egg in there and one likes to lay her egg on top so I'll take that I'll try not to disturb her good girl and there we go they have access to the sunlight she's all caged off and rat proof and squirrel proof that's a little hatch that you saw from the outside and this is their house and where they live. They're very noisy this morning girls. Mm -hmm. but they're beautiful hands and they serve me well. 
so hopefully we can keep them safe and they'll serve me